Hello everyone and welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered. Okay, we're pl still playing on grounded difficulty of course. And um, in the last part we made our way through the start of the university. We've, we can hear some um, runners infected clickers and all that upstairs. And we need to open this gate. And this gate is powered by a generator which is connected from there, follow the yellow line, all the way up there. So we've got to make our way up there to turn the generator on. And as we all know, generators like make a lot of noise, so we're probably going to have to clear out all the infected before we actually do turn it on. And before we go that way, I'm just going to quickly check on this side, see if there's any infected so we don't get flanked from them. Not seen any just yet. There are some pills up here. Let me just quickly check if I can upgrade my weapon sway. Okay, I need steady 45 pills. Actually, before we do carry on, let's just check what ammo we've got. Yeah, okay, we can't equip any different ammo for the pistol slots. We can have use a flamethrower or a shotgun. There's an infected over there. I'm going to use the bow and arrow on this guy. Hopefully, that arrow stayed intact so we can retrieve that. I wish I had like 10 arrows, that way I'd just be an absolute badass like Rambo. But you can't. <laughs> the arrows are so limited in this game. I don't think Infected can see flashlights. Even the ones that I can see, you know, the ones that aren't clickers. So I'm going to keep the flashlight on just so we got a clear sight on what's going on around here. So we've got another Infected in there. We've got one in the corner as well. We might actually be able to take take these out with stealth as long as we clean take out the one first. That same um, walking ground, because the ones that are hunched over, I think you can sneak right up to, um, without them spotting you as long as you're slow and slow enough. So I'll get when this guy goes past us now, this this lady, will take this one out. Ship. Is that on fire? No. That didn't go too well. We've got one left. Machete time. Ooh. That's a nasty cut. And there's that. Remember the flamethrower being a lot more effective on the PS3 version? Right there. I was doing little bursts on them and they just were not getting taken out. So I just emptied it on them. I think we got we only got one, I think, with the fire. But we actually done not too bad there. I think the arrow's still intact as well. Oh, I got this guy right in the face. This this infected. Oh, through the nostrils. Nice. So we actually did retrieve quite a bit of um, flamethrower ammo, ammo right there as well. So we can turn the generator on now. Seeing as that did go a bit messy, we actually did come out quite well. I was I was expecting that infected to make that noise that humans make when you um, start getting sp spotted. It makes like a, a little noise to like notify the player that you are in sight of an enemy, but straight infected spot you a lot quicker and you don't get like a second chance. That's why I just kind of stood in front of it for a bit. Because I, di I didn't think it was spotting me, but it obviously did and just came rushing at me. Hey, I was thinking... I would have wanted to be an astronaut. That a fact. Yeah. Can you imagine being up there all by yourself? Would have been cool. I'm just saying. What about you? What do you want? Well, when I was a kid, I used to want to be uh, a singer. <laughs> Shut up. I'm serious. Sing something. Uh, no. Come on, I won't laugh. I don't think so. Please. So Joel must have a pretty good singing voice if he thought he could make a career out of it. Monkeys? Yeah, a whole mess of us. Why are the monkeys here? They must be like from a test lab or something, because you wouldn't have monkeys in the wild, close to a university. In where are we? I don't even know where we are. 
Ohio? I don't know. I'm kind of making it up. Okay, so we're looking for the science lab, I guess, because that's where the, the lab's going to be. <laughs> if you're going to make a lab in the university, you're probably going to want to make it by the science lab. Right, these monkeys are getting off. So the science lab is this way. There's a building over there to the right where we can access. We may as well check that out before we continue. Might be something useful inside. I'll be right back. I'll be here. Nothing down here. Nope. Empty. Let's quickly check the top floor and then we'll make our way towards the lab. Oh my god, it's just completely pointless being in this building. Why is this even here? Actually, you can jump on the roof and go to the next room. That's why it's here. Get some weapon parts. Looks like people have been living here. So there's been people living here after the um, the world turns to shit. Because I wouldn't expect this to what be what dorms look like in the university. How health kits are now 67% stronger. 67%? That's a weird number. I think it'd be like a flat 50, 60, 70, 80, 67? What? Okay, so we found quite a few parts around here. The health kit upgrades are definitely a good thing. Pills. So we're getting closer to be maxing out our weapon sway reduction. So let's jump back down. I'm not, I'm not going to jump off the roof because there's a possibility I will lose health. And every bit of health that you can get ungrounded you need. Go back. Alright, let's head towards the um, the lab. Hey look. Firefly. Yeah, firefly symbol symbol on the wall right there. Joel, look. I see it. This is good. First sign of fireflies. Are the fireflies monkeys? As that's all we've seen so far. And if the fireflies were here, you would have expected to bump into them by now. You'd think they'd have a lot of um, security around them and watch outs, lookouts like they did with that. There was a post that we passed. Watch yourself. You too. There it is. There's what? Has she, has she seen the building? I didn't really take much notice through the gate. I think we've got to go this way anyway to aim because that button wouldn't work. So UEC campus map. What have we got? Infected su Infected supping. What does supping mean? Does that say supping? Slipping. Infected slipping through the through here. Need to reinforce all stadium and bookstore exits. There's sniper nest to the east. There's no mark showing where we are. I'm getting slammed here. Must beef up barricades. Okay, so there's definitely presence of people that have been living here, but it's strange that there's no one here right now. Not a single person watching us or notifying us that way that they can see us. Let's check out this room, room 201. Um, it's a bit of a mess. I think I just picked up a rag just then. Can't craft anything with it. We could, I'm probably going to craft a um, health kit or a Molotov next chan chance we get. you got to make that choice all the time. Do you want to increase your chances of killing an enemy or increase your chances of staying alive? So there's a student journal here. I don't really care. wonder how long you held out. All these cupboards, why did he allow, allow me to open them when there's nothing in them? There's a drawer here. Ah, uh, weapon parts. Give me some bullets. <laughs> I'm not expecting the students to have bullets, though. I thought there was a magazine there we could pick up that Ellie could read. One of the collectibles. Oh, shit. So there's some there's, um, actually infected in this area, which isn't a good sign for fireflies. So we've got to be careful now. Here we go. The spores are down below. Oh, 
so we got plenty of clickers around here. Which is not a good thing at all. That's a clicker as well. I think if they got any like infestation on their head, it's definitely a clicker. That's how you can tell them apart. Because some some of them have got like the whole face is just like a big mushroom, but some of them have got like little bits on the head. I think they're still clickers. Because there's three types of um, infected. There's clickers, runners. So runners are the ones that obviously run at you as soon as they spot you. Then you've got stalkers, I think they're called. And they are more, like, stealthy. They have, like... They can run around... Um, they're likely to take cover if they spot you. And try and sneak around the back of you. Which is quite intelligent of them. <laughs> they stalk you down, so that's why they're called stalkers. Gonna be very sneaky around here. I think these are all clickers around this section. That one definitely is. It's a shame that you can't like choke out clickers the way you can with um, the other infected. Because like if I try and grab that now, it would just kill me. Unless I get oh god, he's behind me. So if I had a shiv, I could easily take it out. But I don't have a shiv. I do have a machete though. I've still got a machete, yeah. But if I was to attack it with a machete, it would um probably take me out of stealth. Some tape and scissors right there. Can't craft anything with it though. So the only thing we can craft at the moment, a nice arrow there. Got two arrows now. Fuck off. Back off. Flashlight's running out. Ooh, I hate it when they start making their noises and they start like grabbing the heads and going all erratic. I don't think infected need to eat, do they, to like survive? Because they, you never see them eating on like a body or anything like that. They just seem to exist. Okay, we got a bottle there. Anything in the bottom shelves? Fuck. Fuck. We got a bloater. Could do with a molotov there, really, to take that guy out. Right, from what I can remember about this now is when you open this door, you make a lot of noise and you've got to bash your way through it because it's blocked on the other side. And if you start doing that now, the bloater will be notified and just rush at you and take you out. So I'm going to try and throw a brick over there to distract the bloater to give us more time to escape. So while he's over there, I'm going to do this quickly and hopefully escape. So smash square. Smash square. Come on, come on, Joel. Come on, Joel. They're getting close. To oh my god. Oh, fuck me. That was close. Oof. My heart's beating. So there he is. Doesn't look too happy. Is he gone? He's gone. Oof. You can also take that guy out if you want to go the crazy way. And, like, if, you, if you've got a Molotov cocktail, they're very useful against bloaters. I'm not too sure how effective flamethrowers are, but that's definitely the easiest way to do that section. It's just to purely stealth it. So I think there's a room we can check here. I think we're going the way behind us to progress, but again, I'm going to quickly scavenge what we can. I don't think there's any infected up here, so we're safe to run around like headless chickens. Fucking hell, all these drawers are just completely empty. I'd like something to um, help me craft a Molotov or a med, med kit. I think we need alcohol for it. I think we've got enough rags. I seem to be picking up a lot of rags and not a lot of alcohol. More infected, I'm fine. Here, come up on the gate. Okay, so we're on the other side of the fence now where Ellie is. So we can turn on the generator now and that should do the job. Oh, actually, you need to move the um, generator closer to the wire first, because it's only a short wire. So it's going to make a lot of noise, and hopefully we won't actually startle and call over any infected with the noise this makes. Right. 
try the gate. Ha! You did it! Yeah. Get all through. Gooch. Those clickers. I think they were fireflies? <laughs> no. No, I don't think so. Why would they have an effect so close yeah. to the lab? Well, Bill used them as a form of defense. Maybe they're doing the same. Yeah, I could see that. It's funny how we've been, like, looking for the fireflies for so long, and we don't even really know what they look like. We haven't seen any in the game. Perhaps Joel knows what they look like, the uniform that they wear. <laughs> no guards. No nothing. Yeah, I'd expect to see someone by now. Let's get inside. Uh, so it's looking less and less likely that there's going to be any fireflies around here because this looks like where they keep all their equipment and also probably maybe sleep in the tents and stuff and it's just empty but it's weird that there's not actually even any infected here either you know if they were fireflies here and they got overrun they must have run away because if they obviously got bitten and infected and killed and all that we'd see some of them running around in the outside so we're going to check all these tents as we make our way towards the the building where the lab's going to be. This one's empty. Right, let's see if Ellie follows us around. Because so, there's no point jumping on off the horse here because the tents are quite close. Have you ever been to one of these? What, university? Yeah. <laughs> no, not as a student at least. Why not? Uh, I had Sarah when I was pretty young. Were you married? For a while. What happened? Okay. Too much? Too much. Are we ever going to find living fireflies? We better. So Joel's still not wanting to go too deep into his past, but he is actually mentioning Sarah off his own back right there. So he's getting better and better closer bond with Ellie. More willing to talk about his past. Come on. So we're gonna go through this fence. Hey, what about over there? Yeah, that looks like a way in. So we've got an open window right there. Let me just check this fence, see if it opens. <coughs> yeah, it's rusted shut. We'll have to find another way. Maybe we can get over it. Get over. Okay, so we need to find. Some, there's a trash can over here we can use to um. It's not a can, is it? It's a skip, if you like. What do they call these in America? Dumpsters? I think they call dumpsters. And um, we'll be able to put this close to the fence and step on top of that and climb over. I'll have to leave the horse behind, though. Alright, not what I had in mind, but it'll do. Did the job. Made some noise, though, so if <laughs> there's any infected around the corner, they definitely heard that. So we're going to need the um, the dumpster again. Take it towards this truck. Because we're going aiming to get in that window up there to the top right. So we'll put this dumpster next to the same truck. And we'll jump on that and make our way through the window. <laughs> so before we do actually get inside the university. We're going to end it here and we'll start the next part inside the building which is hopefully where the fireflies have their lab their lab set up all right everyone see you in the next part bye